way to lift a Pontiac Solstice. We're also going to show you that this car has been lifted by other people and done completely wrong and the damage it causes when you lift it in the wrong positions. Right here is the rear lift point. What you'll notice in the body is there's actually a cutout and then there's sort of a round spot underneath where I put the max jacks pad. You have to remove, if you have a max jack, you have to remove your extension because this car is so low. Also, I've got to tell you, we have to actually roll the car back in neutral to get the front arms in and then come back and roll the car forward to get the car on the lift. So this is a hard car to fit onto a lift and that's part of the reason people lift it wrong all the time. But this is your rear point. Remember there's a cutout. So each side of the rear there's a cutout that you're going to have to get your arm under. You notice our arm is all the way in. So this is short as I can make the arm. Now we're going to show you the front which is usually where they get real good damage on these cars. This spot here is not where you want to lift the car in the front. People will try to lift it here and they'll damage the body here. Or they'll try to lift it a little forward of there and damage it. And there's actually a bunch of damage here you won't probably see because they've lifted it there. Your lift point is actually inboard up here. And we're going to have Trish swing the camera and look up at it so you can see where your lift point really is on the car. So that's the real lift point you're looking at. So it's inboard on the front of the car. And people tend to lift it towards the outboard and they damage the front quarter panels in that area. So you've got to get it clear inboard where we're showing you that that is the actual lift point on the car. Where I'm pointing here, there's actually a dent on the car. This is not a rock dent. This is somebody who was getting, ran the car into a lift right there. So there's your point where it was run into. A lot of times people try to lift them right here. That does not work. All I'll do is bend the car. There's no lift point there. As we showed you, it's inboard from that spot. Here we have another spot where somebody was lifting the car. They've run the lift into the car right here. So damage again. Remember the lift point is a cutout I showed you back here. So this is actually too far forward. This may have just occurred because they're so hard to get underneath the car. But nonetheless, this car has been damaged here on a lift also. This is all the way up. And then what I've done is slid in the safety bars and lowered it back onto the safety bars. If you're using one of these, always use your safety bars. Don't even think about getting under the car without them. If a valve ever fails, you're going to get yourself killed. So that's what we've done here. If you're working on this at home and you're going to use a floor jack, you need a low-level floor jack and you need the jack at the points we've shown you. But you need a low-level floor jack. And according to GM, always, always, always use jack stands with this car. What you have there is the actual instructions from GM printed off the internet to show you where the lift points are so you can see what we were showing you on the car when you're going to lift your vehicle. Remember, low level floor jack for most people. If you have access to a lift, be careful where you put the lift. You probably have to put the car in a neutral. It'll probably take you two people so that you can move the car backward and forward in order to get the forearms under the car and you will have to remove any extensions off of your arms and have them as short as possible for the reasons.